give you some basic facts about what happened. We got the call at 12.03 that there was a motor vehicle accident on the bridge. Our crews responded, arrived at 12.06, so a three-minute response time. They did find uh, a pretty serious wreck that included uh, two vehicles plus the uh, semi. Uh, two vehicles were in pretty bad shape. The semi had actually uh, was dangling off of the edge of the Second Street Bridge. Uh, we immediately set up for technical rescue because the driver of the semi was still inside the cab. Uh, she was talking to us. We were able to communicate with her, obviously shaken up, but she seemed to be stable. Uh, it took our crews approximately 40 minutes uh, to set up a rope system, put somebody over the edge, rappel down to her, hook her up with a similar uh, safety harness, and get her back out and to safety. And then she was transported uh, just as a precautionary measure to the local hospital. Uh, all the credit goes to these folks right here. Uh, a couple of our other crews that were present have uh, had to return to service, make sure they're taking care of the city. Uh, but this is our rescue company here, Truck 1, Engine 2, as well as Truck 2 down here at Floyd and Jeff that handled this uh, technical rescue. They train for this type of stuff all the time. And uh, I know that a lot of you got footage of it that went out and you saw that these were some serious heroes here. This was some really professional, well-practiced, well-trained stuff. They got right out there, got right to her. Uh, firefighter Bryce Carden was the one in the harness, got down to her. I'll go ahead and joke on him a little bit because this is probably one of the nicest, happiest guys that you'll ever want to meet in your life. And he is the exact right person to put down there to try to keep that patient calm and very cool and collected, to understand that she's in safe hands uh, so that she doesn't panic and to know that you've got uh, trained professionals helping out and they were able to get her back up here to uh, safety. This is very much a worst case scenario, kind of a crazy thing that you don't expect to actually have to do until you show up and you see it and you're like, oh my gosh, this is actually what we've talked about and here we're ready for it. Uh, this is a once in a career type of thing, unless uh, somebody here has done this many times. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is extremely unique. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.